1.3 billion people, um, 450 million of those in the uh, metropolis regions. That means um, people involved in the economy. China, of course, a huge country. Everybody knows that. And now for the fourth time and for the fourth time, the location for the uh, Global Fortune Forum. In other words, the forum where the 500 largest companies worldwide come together. And this time it was in Chengdu and directly coming back from Chengdu, the founder and CEO of the Pima International Group, Rolf Sorg, and the head of international sales of Pima International, Sasha Gampa, and uh, their guests here with me in the international top talk. So first question that I have, um, why China, why Chengdu, Rolf, um, why? It's very simple because uh, it's now the, the fourth time that the Global Fortune Forum took place in China. Be in China because uh, there's such tremendous economic growth. There's uh, 450 million uh, people that are part of that economic zone. That's incredible. Of course, uh, with 1.3 billion people in China, uh, that's, uh, this has set themselves a high goal to get 1 billion people part of this economic system. And to be honest, when I first heard about the uh, you know, Chinese economy, it was about 300 uh, people about 10 years ago. And that shows you the fast, fast growth. Chengdu is now the metropolis in China that's growing the fastest that has the highest economic growth. 200 of the largest companies in the world are already established there with their own subsidiaries, and you can feel it anywhere you come. Um, buildings are being built, uh, substantial action and um, the right kind of mood, and I think everybody could feel it in the last few days. The Global Fortune Forum, uh, you know, the form of the largest uh, 500 companies worldwide, and there's only, um, you can only get there with invitation and with uh, honestly, how did you get there with Pima International? Well, uh, you know, sales-wise, uh, we missed it just barely, just barely. The smallest of the smallest 500 companies. And um, we didn't quite do the uh, $23 billion. No, we do about $250 million, and I think that's very respectable. And uh, with that, we at least get into the category of a large mid-sized family company. But of course, we're quite a bit away from $23 billion. Now, the background is I, I looked at uh, Chengdu in November 2011, and back then, uh, by invitation, of the CCPIT, that's the Economic um, uh, Commission there, that is supporting German companies. And I knew that Chengdu was uh, trying hard to be positioning itself as a economic location in China. I heard a lot about it. And I knew that many of the top companies in the world uh, are taking a close look at Chengdu. And Chengdu has done it, to, frankly, through infrastructure, they have a very central location in Chengdu that's also very important. It's right in the middle of China. And if you don't need um, access to water, and we're not, then you don't have to go to Beijing or, or Shanghai where the prices are, you know, through the roof. So now the two of you have been there so for uh, uh, mere mortals like us, it, it'll remain a, a dream. So what are your impressions that, that you got there from the days in Chengdu at the Global Forum, Fortune Forum? What I found there on that weekend, it was it's really not something you could describe in words. It started when we were picked up and I was wondering why there's so little traffic on the streets and the reason for that is that the entire infrastructure around this forum and, and the hotel that we were in was completely rearranged. The hotel was practically uh, sealed off. We had free access to all streets if we're outside of the hotel. It was incredible. More than 20,000 police officers uh, made sure that security was high. Every you know, 10 meters there, there was a police officer. The city was uh, looking good. Everywhere. You have to imagine Chengdu uh, has over 12 million inhabitants, and really you saw the Global Fortune Forum everywhere, whether it was decorations, streets, um, it was really, really incredible, and the population around it as well. If you walked around uh, with a badge, with the accreditation where you could get to the inner zone, you were smiled at, uh, people talked to you, the people who lived there was, were really 
really excited and immediately understood uh, the, the kind of potential that's approaching Chengdu and why this forum is taking place in Chengdu. And for me, I really couldn't imagine in my dreams what to, to expect there. And it was very hard to put it into words. And I'd like to name an example. Everybody knows that Facebook is, is uh, forbidden in China. And there was exactly one place here in China in which for three days Facebook and Twitter was open. And that was the Shangri-La Hotel that we were in and only there could you communicate externally with the world and at night when we uh, were picked up for the airport it was gone again so that shows you the significance of this forum for Chengdu and for China so now you, Rolf, uh, you had the opportunity to come together with some entrepreneurs that were there as well. And you really were there, you know, in the inner circle, in other words. What did you experience? I was an, an official guest. Uh, again, uh, my wild card I got from the mayor. And um, I think I've left a pretty good impression with him for about a year. Um, and I had a personal invitation by the mayor of Chengdu. And uh, let's talk again one more time. How, how does the, uh, this forum be organized? It comes from Forten. It's a huge organization that's behind it. They are putting it on. They pick a country and a city. And generally, they talk to the government of the country, and then the government uh, suggests the location. And then, of course, Chengdu is the host as well. And then as the only person, the mayor of Chengdu is the only person who can have such an invitation to speak, such an invitation. And there weren't too many people who had a personal invitation, not... Uh, that weren't part of the 500 companies. So I was uh, really surrounded by interesting personalities. And I have to say one thing very clear. I feel absolutely on the same level because these are all uh, entrepreneurs of companies and they were dealing with a an owner, an entrepreneur of a family-owned company. And that was really, really interesting to be part of it and to experience what kind of people they are, how they are, you know, uh, moving around, and in some cases very, very importantly, as you can imagine. And, um, you know, there, there are people who, who like to surround themselves with us, but uh, really didn't know where to put us. So directly after the Fortune, uh, Global Fortune Forum, a press conference took place. It was about PM International. It was about the signing of the cooperation contract and about the fact that PM said in the next three to five years we will invest at least 10 million uh, U.S. dollars and Rolf, um, a press conference with over two, 120 representatives of media. What happened? Of course, uh, we had the huge, huge luck that it was a Global Fortune Forum with that the perfect timing because uh, it's great when the, uh, when the government can boast about uh, having gained a new partner through the forum and that was uh, extremely supported by the government, not just that we're investing money into China, but the city of Chengdu and uh, the uh, provincial government from, from the Sichuan province as well uh, were really interested and in the media of course were, were on place anyway and um, they only had to come to where things were happening and for me it was a new and, and incredible experience because 120 media representatives um, I have to say I've never experienced it and uh, particularly since I didn't know anything about it ahead of time I, I got there uh, totally without knowing what to expect and um, the fact that uh, there was 120 media representatives and it turned out when I was sitting there and listening to the speeches of every single um, every single government representative I, it dawned on me I may have to speak and I would have to speak in English in front of 120 media representatives and, um, and, you know, in China, you really, really have to be careful with what you say. I mean, they, they listen to every single word. Um, and I knew it, it wasn't going to be edited. It, it wouldn't be corrected after, afterwards. So it was very, very 
Also war schon um, ganz interesting and Nein, aber letztendlich, really, really uh, interesting for us. We are being supported, wir werden unterstützt, also not, um, not just with, with the infrastructure we need to support by the city, by the province, to be able to reach our goals, because the fact is in the last seven years, not a single direct sales license has been issued in China. Before that, it was all of 12 to foreign companies. So, uh, To be, to be seen at the Global Fortune 500, that's just like a green card, really, and the positioning of the government with all the agreements that they made in front of the press, in public, towards us. And, of course, the Chinese government is lucky because in the positioning compared to, to the United States, where there are no more um, direct sales licenses, Uh, you know, this is a German company. They haven't had any trouble with German companies. So, um, you know, we, we have the premium image. We have the right company for this market. And, of course, made in Germany is a, a seal that is, is very well regarded in China. So now the question is for me, what are the first steps? Um, we're starting off right away. The first step uh, will follow in a few steps. This weekend in Chengdu, we will have a very large uh, um, trade shows, the Sichuan Imported Commodity Fair 2013, a show for uh, food and, and nutrition. And we're able to be there as PM International, as the company, in order to make our brand visible and to show it to a customer potential of over 200 million people that are close geographically. And Chengdu for us is a very important, very interesting location because a lot has happened in the last few months. One example is the new high-speed corridor for um, product delivery. So you can get, you can get a product from Germany to China within 14 Days. And of course, it's very, very important, very interesting to us for food, for nutrition, um, for, you know, expiration dates. And that's uh, a lot, lot uh, cheaper than to, to do it uh, by air or by sea. So for us, an optimal positioning. Will there be office space in, uh, in Chengdu? Yes, uh, as Mr. Zork mentioned, we, of course, uh, were present on site. We, we looked at several offices. We have... Uh, gotten very, very big um, agreements from the government and our office will be in the hotspot of Chengdu, a brand new office complex, 660 square meters, uh, the same building houses, the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, so a premium location that fits to the, the premium products and the premium business, a premium place in the premium place in West China, 660 square feet of uh, office space, something you couldn't pay for if you tried. So the excitement is there now, of course, uh, for you. Uh, those of you that are watching, how can I best profit? Uh, you know, I'm sitting here in Germany or in other parts of the country. How can I do something? Okay, so first of all, let's talk about a window of time here. In order to get a sales license, if everything works perfectly, and this is what we expect, it takes about two years to get the license. In other words, The prerequisite is 10 million basic capital and then two more on top of that. I thought about this for a long time to make this investment and to make this investment I see a huge market potential because we are working a very, very tight market. There's just 12 international companies that are working legally. Now I know there are many companies who are illegally in the market but they're constantly being fought. And for that, the legally operating companies have a very tight market. They can establish themselves long term, which is something that we're looking at doing. And with that, they can really capture the market long term. And with that, it is one of the most attractive markets in the world. So no question. How can we use it? How can we use it now? Well, you have to position yourself. Um, don't just call every Chinese restaurant. And, and that is not the thought. 
Build your team as you always would. Position yourself for growth. And every new business partner that you gain yourself that comes into your organization, there's a new opportunity that when the market is open, that when we have achieved all the prerequisites, and with that, we have to think about long term, then you're positioned, and then you can be part of it for the market entry and when the market entry takes place. Right before that, in the last 90 days, that's when it's about being on site, taking the time, becoming active yourself, and to experience this opportunity, to experience this start. And you can already start saving for that. This would be ideal. Make sure you save for your trip, and then when it gets started, you can be there. So, you know, don't drive yourself crazy, but look at it as a long-term thing with PM International, with this perspective, what is possible for you long-term. So sponsoring, sponsoring, sponsoring. We will capture the market by gaining more and more partners who help us take the products into the new markets. And the bigger your business is until then, the higher the opportunity for your Chinese market. So how do I get the news? Uh, how do I stay in touch with this? Very simple. Update conference every week. Special conferences can't be missed, of course. Have an e-business. And my page, uh, you can see a lot uh, of what's going on, what's going on very, very recently, up to date, because um, I post quite a bit on my page with new markets. And if you use the different uh, sources, the ways to communicate, and you're really online, you're part of it. In other words, you get the information directly from the company, then you're well informed. So position yourself by doing the country uh, in my own community. Uh, the page here, www.facebook.com forward slash Rolf Sorg. That's the page aside from the update conferences and stay on top of it. This is it, excitement, PM International in China, in Chengdu, and um, I think the, the motto that Chengdu published ahead of time fits well to China, that was Chengdu can do. Thank you very much, Rolf Sorg. Thank you, Sasha Gampa.